Who the fuck is all these new people? Five hours ago, who is without trying TV? Anybody know who that is? I'm in this Got month, ghost on you. Right? I'm gonna take it a little serious this time, right? I don't like nothing hot on me. Hot sauce, hot cheat. What's up? This big sight. Y'all ready for me to wake it up? I'm talking about two topics today. That hot ass shit, Aunt Glizzy trying to do the wheel roar. I told y'all, man, if he can't beat you. He trying to get you locked up, man. I told y'all, y'all thought I'd be lying, man. And that school shooting. With his hot ass, man, say cheese. Yeah. Let's wake this shit up, man. I had a conversation with my little homie last night, right? Anybody that supports or hangs around a nigga like that, man. Y'all y'all fucking with a nigga like that, man. Like y'all need to really sit there. Like seriously, seriously. I don't give a fuck. Motherfucker be like, oh, I've been known them, or I've been following them. Like, listen, bro. Listen, listen. Anybody. Y'all think that, that y'all think the police don't know where Will Roy at if they wanted to come get him, man? In DC, Maryland, Virginia. Well, Will Roy buy Ubers and all that, use the credit cards and all that, man. You think that they don't know where Will Roy at, man, if they wanted them, man? Seriously though. Y'all think, man, who 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 you know outran the motherfucking radio before? Man, that boy, that, that boy. I don't like nothing to happen. <laughs> That's that post from that bam ass nigga say cheese and everybody else that want to do the police job, right? It's just one thing about that post, say cheese. Have you ever been around that neighborhood before? Do you know the angles of which they the, the shots were going and the shots were coming? Let's wake this shit up, man. This message is for Sean Cotton. Anybody else that want to post, I mean, you know, post false narratives about what happened at Dead Dunbar, you know, I understand young girl got shot, you know what I mean? And, I'm, and, and, and I don't agree with that at all, right? However, I don't agree with them young dudes losing their lives. It's bad enough. They suffer from the traumas of D.C. You know, they afraid to go to school, feeling like they have to protect themselves to go to school. You see what I'm saying? So, so they losing on all sides, right? However, that's the window that got shot out. This is Dunbar, right? How you doing? This is the street that the shooting took place on. This is one of the angles that you see in the video, you know, of the shooting. It was two young dudes right here. One young dude shot through this fence right here. The other young dude, attention, was pointed this direction, right? Which says, which shows you, and once his attention pointed this direction, this is where the shots were coming from, right? The young dude, you know, he does whatever he does, and then he makes his escape through this fence right here, right? If the young dude's attention and everything he was doing is pointing in this direction, the school is this way. How did one of them youngins shoot this school when their attention was pointed in this direction? This is the second angle, right? This is the second angle of those folks. Was 
coming from this direction only. So for everybody now from Washington, D.C., and for everybody that doesn't want to come out here and do their own investigation before they post and plant seeds in the media and people's minds, the school is in this direction. Right? If there was somebody coming in this direction shooting up this direction, why are those young dudes' attention pointing in this direction? And why do those young dudes make their way through this fence, through that field, in that direction, if somebody is shooting down that direction? Stay with me, right? Media is full of dirty tricks. Don't get caught up in the mix. The revolution is not televised. So. These are the cameras on the Rec Racer Center across the street from Dunbar. Right? If there was a shooter riding up this end street northwest, right? If there was a shooter riding up end street northwest, the police would have been showing videos of this camera, these cameras right here. To show, to show that there was a shooter shooting this way, which would have been this way, and these youngins shot back that way to hit that school. Y'all want to know why the police didn't show these cameras? Because the shooter was not shooting this way. He was shooting that way, which forced them youngins to defend themselves. Why, well, you know. It's something called the greater weight of evidence. When the facts don't match the evidence, y'all running around here saying the boys shot their school, man. When the when the concrete evidence shows, man, they wasn't one shooting at their school, man. Bad enough them youngers are going bad enough them youngers have to go to school in fear of their safety. Right? For whatever reason. And I'm not saying that, you know, whoever shot at them was wrong. I'm not saying, I'm not saying none of that. What I'm saying is there are youngins right now locked up for shooting a little girl that was in school. And I, name one, one of them that shot in the direction of their school. <laughs> right? Man, listen, man. Do your homework, man. Stop, stop running with them police narratives, man. Sorry. Ariel Bowser says a big concern is the fact that they were out in the streets rather than in class. Parents, community, police, we are all hyper focused on making sure kids are where they're supposed to be and kids who have. Yeah, I'm in this. Got ghosts on you, man. I'm gonna take it a little serious this time, right? I don't like nothing hot on me. Hot sauce, hot cheese. Police try to get you in the interrogation room and question you? Hell yeah, I was I didn't probably been I told you they subpoenaed me. They uh subpoenaed me. I probably been in the room, they probably grabbed me like four times. But once you get a lawyer, they can't talk. Once you say once when my lawyer walking in there, you can't talk. Go live, everybody gone. Will Ed is gone. What the fuck is you talking about? There is a murder, open investigation. His closest, first of all, the last person that's in contact with Tweety since that shit, that shit's all documented. You know, Will sit on with a murderer for the last six months. He's been the closest person to it. They go not tomorrow. They like, Will, Will, we know you were there.
You think I give a fuck? They say, no, we die laughing, but you just took yourself out that. Out. No, because I'm thinking about it like. There's a. Oh, she get a piss. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, William? <laughs> William? Have you seen William? William? Just want to ask you some questions, William. I just want to ask you some questions, man. They say this is crazy. No, you think this is crazy? This ain't crazy. China been missing for six months and the motherfucking murderer and the suspect number two is Will? This shit is, that's crazy. Fuck you talking about? If I was locked up, time out. If it was me, who would be on live right now having a field day with the 700 people? Think about it. <laughs> Nothing personal, just business. He know what happened. I ain't say nobody was dead. I ain't even say nothing. I ain't whole motherfucking internet. No jumper wanted to interview him. I would never be on no jumper. Whole motherfucking internet listening to who he say hiding who ain't. And he on here doing shit like this. Whole motherfucking internet, man. Listening to who the fuck he calling hot and who not. And he on here doing shit like that, man. Like that, like that. Man, man, man. Not no motherfucker way with that bam ain't on there. I don't like hot Cheetos. I don't like hot summer days. I don't like hot dogs. <laughs> I ain't even like the hot boys when they said they was hot. That nigga mad motherfucker will. I won't tell. <laughs> Your secrets. That nigga mad at some. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga say, nigga, I'm gonna make sure you don't use that motherfucker phone ever again. <laughs> I didn't say I'm gonna use law enforcement to get that nigga. <laughs> that nigga ain't gonna say I ain't gonna kill him. So I'm gonna lock that nigga ass. <laughs> Woo! That nigga had us a motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This Ang Lizzie and this Bob Sun TV. And today we got part two to the China story. Will Roy did it. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. I was thinking, hold on, y'all, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Great day in the morning. What did that baby just say? Oh, we got to watch that again. I'm going to watch that with y'all. So it will, Roy did it. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I'm just talking in there. The, the walls talk like I ain't never heard nothing. No, nothing. Will did it. But, so long story, nothing. Will did it. But, so long story short. And how that nigga over here talk about much love to kids with autism. I love children. I man, my child had any disabilities. He had a disability. That's my child. I'm gonna love him regardless. That's my son, and I'm standing with him, right? But y'all, I want y'all, I want y'all to see my beautiful little boy, man. Cause this bam over there just like to talk and lie on people, man, lie on kids and all this weird shit, you know. that clown will he see any abnormal behavior with my son <laughs> it's 
Stop playing so much, Red Glizzy. <laughs> now you go have a baby. And let's see how much you abnormal behavior we see coming about your DNA. Yeah, I'm in this Got ghosts on you. Man. Got ghosts on you. I'm going to take it a little serious this time, right? I don't like nothing hot on me. Hot sauce, hot cheese. That clown, will he see any abnormal behavior with my son? <laughs> Stop playing so much, Red Glizzy. <laughs> now you go have a baby. And let's see how much you abnormal behavior we see coming about your DNA. Yeah, I'm in this Got ghosts on you, man. Ghost I'm gonna take it a little serious this time, right? I don't like nothing hot on me. Hot sauce, hot cheetah. I never understood why. I can never see a man cry till I see a man die. Man cry. Hey, y'all. Uh, you might want to ask about me, man. I hit hard as a motherfucker, man. Seriously, man. And I'm gonna beat shit out you, man. Seriously, seriously, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna play with you, man. I'm gonna beat the shit. I'm gonna beat shit down your leg, man. Seriously, man. Tell Buster Move Web, man. We could meet. We could meet right now. I got boxer gloves right now. Yeah. Fuck you, mean you, you don't think I'm gonna go, man? I'm, I'm gonna beat shit out you, man. Soon as I get close enough, man, I'm gonna show you all the power I got, man. So I'm gonna give you everything I got, man. Seriously, man. Set that shit up, man. Man, we, we, where you at? I come with the gloves right now to be shit down your leg. On my soul, man. On my soul, man. Man, fuck all this internet shit. You got gloves. Well, I got my gloves now. Send me, DM me an address, nigga. We can pull up and rumble right now. Fuck a referee and all that. I pull up, we can bang right now. Nigga, you playing with your heart. Nigga, you playing with a motherfucker that saved multiple niggas' lives in this city, man. I continuously do it. Man, what, fuck all the talking, man. Where you at? Hey, where you at? I'm trying to pull up right now. On me, I pull up right now and beat shit out you. On me. Ghost on you, man. I'm gonna take it a little serious this time, right? I don't like nothing hot on me. Hot sauce, hot cheese. Hey, y'all, get this message to Eric Weaver, smooth. The leader kill the streets, man. Tell him the next time he uh, acts like he's their defender and acts like he's... I never said nothing personal about Eric Weaver. I never said nothing personal about smooth. But the next time he shoots at Jihad Abraham like he's Eric Weaver's public defender, he's going to be defending Eric Weaver's character. Yeah, because I got five females that been asking me to interview them about the model of Cure the Streets when it originally started. Now tell Smooth to tell that boy keep his mouth closed about some motherfucker Jihad Abraham, man. Yeah, yeah. Before I wake up, a lot of motherfucking skeletons in them closets, man. Yeah, and yeah, let's find out what them checks was going and what them checks was not going when that shit when when, when Eric Weaver was around the women. Let me tell y'all how dangerous I can get when it comes to Kill the Streets. Y'all know what the model of Kill the Streets was? Do you know in go on government black and white documentation what the... See, I know a lot of men that join Kill the Streets and a lot of men doing the work that's supposed to be done. And I always gave them their credit. I always gave them their credit. 
But do you know if I go down in that motherfucking Wilson building and pull up the model and what what made Cure the Streets, Cure the Streets, Cure the Streets, uh, the definition of a violence interrupter is not somebody that intervene or speak to them youngest. They ain't supposed to talk. That's why they don't talk to them youngest. The, the definition in black and white of a violence interrupter the, the model that they went to them that government building and them Lord man and all that with is to stand back, record, and report what these youngers in these streets doing. Now you want to try tell Eon, don't say Jahar's name ever again in a negative way around me, man. Oh, I will go interview these five females. Right. And then on top of that, I will show these youngins exactly what y'all are doing to them. Right. Violence interrupters. I let them know who you reporting to and telling them everything that you know. Yeah, that's the model. That's why Kill the Streets came about. <laughs> it wasn't. A, it wasn't. That's why. They, man, listen, I will peer some layers back, man. I'll peer them layers back. And then you pissing Jihad Abraham off, the one that started. That's the grandfather of all of this. I would get him to piss some layers back. And I would destroy Kid of Streets, man. They thought I was funny before. I'm gonna be funnier. If they thought I was eager to get to the bottom of something before, no Aunt Diddy, I'll be even more eager. If you thought I was a problem before, let's see what them six million people think about what I'm about to say. Y'all get this to Eric Weaver, man. And tell him to tell y'all. Keep his mouth closed, man. You talk about me, it's cool, man. But bringing my friends and we all learn from Aunt Glizzy. How fast I became dangerous to his buddies, man. <laughs> Don't forget about Crick K. Grammy. <laughs> but tell him, man, I'm giving this the warning. I give three warnings, man. I only give three. Eonna talked about Eonna talked about John Abraham twice. And defend and cure the streets. You got one more time. So Ring Doorbell was just sued, and those of you who possess a Ring Doorbell may be receiving part of a large multi-million dollar settlement. If you didn't know, Ring Doorbell allowed its employees, the federal agents, contractors, and hackers access to customers' money. Uh, uh, I'm going to reinvest my money into the community. Oh, that's a very nice gesture. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay.
What's up, Moo? How to drink. Quick to bake your ass a cake. Hey, E. What's up, bro? What you want, E? Hey. No. Just cool. Shut up. Yeah. What's up with you? Huh? What's up with you? Shit, I ain't on that. Hey, what's up with... Hey, I, I, I seen the other day you gave out a proposition, right? Was that proposition true? What was that? You said I don't feel like I felt the other day no more. Oh, you don't? Nah, so what was it? I'm saying you if you you on serious serious time, I'll call you. No, I'm never on serious serious, serious time with you. This the internet, bro. If it was serious serious time, we're not gonna be on here. So you all right, so what I'm saying is this. You said that somebody could back back the fight on your end and somebody back the fight on his end, and we could make it an event where both people could benefit from. Right? Yeah, you make you making it sound real too clear. You kind of making it sound like he made it sound. I said I'd do it, but I ain't fighting nobody in no back alley. A back alley fight is a homicide. I said I'd fight in the ring up in the next day to fuck out my business. Bet. That's what I mean. Uh, me personally, gangster to gangster, you know, now I respect you, my man. And I fuck with sight. But I'm going to say this. I don't want this shit to get no street shit. This shit ain't worth no gunplay. And I'm gonna keep it real. Why? Why you mention the gunplay then? I'm Go ahead, please. Saying, I'm speaking my mind. Let me speak my mind. I'm not saying. It. I'm saying it for everybody. It's not worth ain't, none of that. Ain't no. I ain't. ain't I, I ain't You're not saying no it, gunplay. but people are speculating it. So I'm saying, let's do the fight so we can alleviate all the bruh, noise. Bro, bro, bro. Don't mention gunplay on here. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Please. Okay. Well, as a man, what I'm saying is this. If I could help put this shit together to alleviate the situation, because all this shit started over two people. Those two people is me and Ann. So I if I can alleviate this move. shit the best I'm way I can. Man, let me talk. Let me do me. Bye. Go ahead. I don't even give a fuck. I'm trying to be. What I'm, I'm saying is. I'm trying, I'm trying to meet him at Hagen Jamal, Tyson's Corner, PG Plaza. I'm trying to meet somebody today. I don't give a fuck about none of this other shit. Other shit playing. Other shit internet shit. All this shit, internet shit. Nah, I nah, took the nah, worst nah. blows seven, on the internet. Seven, man, seven, man, I took, bro, right took the here, worst right. blows on the internet. Seven, so don't nobody seven, need to be bro, doing nothing but seven, trying to put together seven, a scheme to make some money. I ain't even talking to you, Mooga. He knows. Oh, right, okay, cool. 7 Eleven on Blazeburg Road. Be there right now. I'm gone. You are. That's the address. You want to keep asking for address? That's the address. My real feelings ain't on the internet. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't saying no feelings about nothing. I said 7-Eleven, Blazeboro Road. Don't leave me alone. I'll be there. I'm going to go live. Niggas playing. Oh, that shit a joke.
You ain't gotta like it. You liked it when it was fun and games. You should like it now. I like it. I love it. I love it. But I ain't gonna let them live it down. I ain't no plan. I ain't no stepper. Everything you do, you do with five, six, seven people, bro. I don't take none of that stuff. This chess not checkers. I'm playing chess. I'm gonna come, nigga. And I don't give a fuck. When they go over there, now he playing. He the one playing. Crackhead killer. Nigga moving a team. Nigga move with a team of seven, eight niggas. They didn't claim a body. That nigga fake. That nigga claim a body. Nigga claiming bodies in 2024. I ain't claiming nobody. Where he at? Where he lifting weights at? We can lift weights together. I know I love Mooka, but brothers argue. Me and Mooka ain't gonna get into nothing. Mooka, don't come back over here, nigga. Make a nigga beat you up, nigga. What's up, bro, bro? What's up, bro? We yeah. yeah. Hey, you understand me though? If you want to talk to me, talk to me, call me. I bet. Because I'm not going to act the way you want me to act. All right, cool. Right I got you. I got you. I'm going to let you do your thing. No, call me. I am. I'm going to let you do your thing, then I'm going to call. I'm just making. Call me right now. It call ain't me. that important. I see what I need to see. Okay. I see it. I'm watching you. All right. I still don't like this shit. Okay. I just said right. call me. All the OTs and all the people that's around here in the DMV just hating on me. This is what I do for a living, bro. I take walks in the park, my girl, eat ice cream, walk the dogs, go on dates, drive Corvettes, make YouTube videos. It's one of the angles that you see in the video, you know, of the shooting. It was two young dudes right here. One young dude shot through this fence right here. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you?
five, 10, 15, 20 years and have millions and billions of dollars, you know what I mean? How were they able to, uh, I'm not going to say how were they able. do is just I jump straight into the federal case because I, I read so many things in your case that probably would help some other people like uh, one thing yo man I'm just telling you for the DC blacks we need to start sitting up there representing for each other for this whole city not just northwest not just northeast not just southeast not just southwest this is what we supposed to do in this city show each other love man I appreciate, appreciate you Chill pill, my chill pill is working out, it's finished working out. Now I'm talking shit every day until he get to faking. I got boxing gloves in the car, gun in car, whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care nothing about that weight difference, bruh. He look like olive oil fucking with me, bruh. Gloves and car. I bet you won't make no Aunt Glizzy skit. I bet you won't say, is that ER? I bet you he won't do that and chase me. I bet you he won't do what he did to the other nigga and pull his phone out either. Man, gloves and car, gun and car. <laughs> Every day. Fuck out of here. This is the district of carjacking. Wait. Every day, though. Like crazy. And you won't even sit on here and say, say it with me. Y'all niggas sick. Top of the morning, bro. Free the real. Man.
you don't even know what you're talking about if you say you're supposed to have You don't even know what gun and car mean, bro. If you say you're supposed to have it in your dip, you don't even know what gun and car mean. You late. You kind of like out the way. Bruh, you on your fake pages? Yeah, anyway, I ain't even gonna respect that ain't sight. Y'all, y'all some goofy shit with them fake pages. Man, that ain't my movement. Guns down, gloves up. That ain't my movement. That's somebody else's movement. Gun and car, that's my movement. Free to real and gun and car. I don't know nothing about that other shit. Who out the way? You just don't stop, man. Stop me. Start calling me twin gun shawty, man. We went from one jump to the car to two guns in the car. So shady. What's up, mama? I already know that ain't sight. That's why I ain't talk. That's why I ain't saying nothing about it. I already know that ain't sight. Yeah, it's psychic and they keep talking. Keep running his damn mouth. And I read his cases. Every case he got is about some running his fucking mouth shit. Every case he's accused of, remember. You, you innocent until proven guilty. Don't let these home play you all the street, man. Smash shout out to my written house nigga. Salute, bro. Bluffing? Okay, fly guy 49. If I'm bluffing, you want to meet me? I'm about to get some coffee at 7 Eleven on Bladensburg Road, Northeast. I'm about to go get a cup of coffee since I'm bluffing. Pull up and get a cup of coffee with me. Every time you get to faking or saying anything stupid, I'm going to call you out. So, fly guy 49, pull up and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> See how tough you are. Since you want to talk that shit like you with sight You, the other little boy he had on it Other they little ass kid Motherfuckers hunting him Hunting him like deer He sitting on the internet playing He hiding up in some trap house in the crack of the corner All the way around the back of 37 Nigga you hiding That ain't living Nigga I go anywhere I go anywhere bro You up in there hiding You suppose, These niggas be talking about they steppers they, in the, they, they inside somewhere on Instagram Flashing switches and drinks and shit But they in a cubby hole, bruh They don't go outside nowhere They can't even order food in public, bruh They can't even go to hip-hop chicken, bruh I go wherever the fuck I want Niggas can't even go outside Hold but five, six, eight steppers in one joke Hiding out like it's some mafia shit Like they on mattresses You niggas can't go outside That's PC Fuck out of here you got seven, eight niggas in the talking about, man, woo, they steppers. All you niggas in an apartment. Hiding. Hiding, bro. That's PC. You hiding. He got these little boys playing with me. Them niggas little boys, bro. Them niggas ain't ran down on nothing. It's called it a spider hole. That's a cubby hole, nigga. That ain't even a spider come out and kill. That's a cubby hole. What's up, this big psych, the voice, man, and it's that time. It's a lot being said. Let's wake it up. Where you at? Where you at? I'm trying to pull up right now, man. Fuck the referee. Fuck all that. I want to pull up right now, man. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Give me that address. Hey, you playing all these motherfucking games, man. I ain't on no internet shit with you, nigga. I'm trying to I'm fuck. I'm trying to see you. I want to see you, man. Fuck all that, man. Fuck all you playing. Listen, man. Fuck all that, man. I'm trying to see you, man. I got I got the gloves in my trunk right now. What's up? What's up? We can run. We don't need no referee or nothing. We can lock in. What's up? Hey, fuck is wrong with you, man? What fuck? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 break everything in your face. On my oh, mother. Baby. On my mother. I'm gonna break oh, your whole baby. face, nigga. On my mother. Man, yes. where's you at? Where's you at? Where's you at? Where's you at? Outside. Man, fuck all that. Where you at right now, nigga? Where you at right now? Where you at right now? Can you tell me where you want me to be? Come to Old Street. Come on Old Street. I 
think y'all might want to listen to that again, man. That boy over there talking all that shit like he want to see me, like we he wants some work. When I came on that live, all that figure ass shit went out the window. It was over with. Right. He know who I am, man. That boy done heard the stories, man. But listen, man. <clears throat> Y'all might want to listen to that ending again, man. Because all these jokes, I was ready. Guns down, gloves up. Watch this. Now. Can you tell me where you want me to be? Come down old street. Come on, street. We can work. We can bang. Come on, street. Say it with me. Right. But fuck that, that nigga. That nigga faking, man. That nigga, I'm telling y'all what he want. He wants some more views. In the beginning, this is how he pulled me in, you know? Pulled me in, wanted some views, wanted to get under Aunt Glizzy nerves, get under Aunt Glizzy skin. You know, knowing I'm hooked in with Shine, uh, with Glizzy Gang, knowing I'm hooked in with Trail, knowing my son, far uncle was. And he played a vicious, dope fiend, down low thug manipulation game. Right? <laughs> but, man, watch. Let's, let's, let's leave that sucker alone. Is he faking? Y'all see he faking. He never came. So, but let's, let's go over here to this nigga, Ant, man. I got a new slip, my car pulled up on some kids, some guy screamed out, they go to the car. I don't know if they returned fire or not, I really can't see, but I wasn't here to solve the case. It was just a sad story. But one of these bullets ricocheted and went through the school because this happened on the back street of a school. So it went through the school and when it went through the school, it hit a girl in the head. Like she got grazed through the head. I don't know how severe the gunshot wound was or what it did to her. So y'all just going to let that bam work that jump like that, like that? I, I just went around there and showed everybody what in, uh, 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 Kurt, uh, that street looked like. And since he brought attention to the car pulling up on some hot shit, why you stupid? You little slow. You, I been, see, he's so slow. He can't read. That's a one-way street. That car pulled up the wrong way of that street. Dumbbell. It's in the opposite direction of that, the way that car was facing. Watch this, man. Was coming from this direction on. So for everybody now from Washington, D.C., and for everybody that doesn't want to come out here and do their own investigation before they post and plant seeds in the media and people's minds, the school is in this direction. Right? If there was somebody coming in this direction, shooting up this direction, why are those young dudes' attention pointing in this direction? And why do those young dudes make their way through this fence, through that field, in that direction, if somebody is shooting down that direction? Say it with me, right? Media is full of dirty tricks. Don't get caught up in the mix. The revolution is not televised. So. Bullets ricocheted and went through the school because this happened on the back street of a school. So it went through the school and when it went through the school, it hit a girl in the head. Like she got grazed through the head. I don't know how severe the gunshot wound was or what it did to her. Somehow. So you telling me, right, that they shot up that way, right? The bullet hit something up that way, ricocheted, and then with the same amount of force after ricocheting, hit that window with that same impact. This is the problem with you. Like, this is what's been going on all these years, man. Y'all just been letting Pim tell these bullshit-ass narratives that don't... This something called the great... Let me tell y'all again. The greater weight of the evidence. It is impossible that a bullet shoots out a gun up a street, ricochets off something, and with the same or equal amount of impact, hits a window as if he was aiming at that window and that was your intentions to shoot that direction in the beginning.
My young baby girl, you're going to get you some money. I know, I know, I know I ain't supposed to be saying this. I know this is wrong. I know you could have died and all that. I swear to God on my mother. Y'all going to get y'all some money. You're going to get you some money. I promise you, them little wounds, they going to pay for it. Make them pay for it. Go get your mother. Tell your mother, Aunt Glizzy says, sue somebody. Somebody get sued. If you don't have a phone, you have a lawyer. 1-800-something-something can help you. I don't know the number, but find it, baby girl. You're going to get you some money. We'll turn them little eyeballs with them little stitches for that to Chanel bags for Ever. I'm talking about Shanae Days. Nah, not Aunt Glizzy. Not Mr. You filed a lawsuit that's hat. Not Mr. Take my head off my body. Put on a police uniform for talking about suing him. Not Mr. If DMV hoods a new suit, that's some hot shit. He ain't promoting. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck that. We need to listen to this again because he just blew me away. <laughs> the Mr. Contradiction himself. Hold on, watch this, y'all. Pay for it. Make him pay for it. Go get your mother. Tell your mother, Aunt Glizzy says, sue somebody. Somebody get sued. If you don't have a phone, you have a lawyer. 1-800-something-something can help you. I don't know the number, but find it, baby girl. You can get you some money. Uh, we'll turn them little eyeballs with them little stitches for that to Chanel bags forever. I'm talking about Chanel days and two. Not the Gangster Chronicles himself. <laughs> Sue his ass. Get his ass. <laughs> that was, everybody that that nigga played with, get his ass. Yeah, fuck that nigga. I don't got nothing to do with this. I ain't trying to play solve a case. I'm just letting the kids know this is how you can get caught. You're going to get caught. You're going to get seen. Did, did, did that Bama just accuse them but don't accuse, didn't accuse them? He didn't do that. He, he ain't accused them youngest and then didn't accuse them. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, hold up, man. This nigga is fucked up, man. Let me say this. That big one, the big dark skin one, she all did like 6'4". Y'all think I'm big? She all bigger than me, man. I'm 6'2". He tall and bigger than me, man. First though, that's the first thing, right? Second thing, if I'm a part of a neighborhood, if I live in a neighborhood and I know they got problems or issues or shit going on in school and everybody got a gun, I'm going to give me a gun because I'm afraid. I'm scared to death. That's just how it's going to go if I'm a kid. Second, I mean, third thing, if somebody comes shooting and I hear gunshots and I got a gun, I might not even want to use this motherfucker, but I'm going to pull it out because I'm afraid to get shot. Try to tell me, right, where in this video do you see a 6'4", 300 sun pound youngin, right? Shooting this, this, this charge in a weapon. For Aunt Glizzy to post him and say, you gonna get caught, you got caught and all this hot ass shit. Where do you see him doing some shit like that at, in that video? Well, let me post the video. I'm sure y'all the news clip, a cop pulled up and some kids, some guys screamed out, they go to the car. I don't know if they returned fire or not. I really can't see, but I wasn't here to solve the case. It was just a sad story. But one of these bullets ricocheted. Now, let me explain to everybody wondering why Sight cares so much. I was just talking to them youngest man. Same youngest y'all that they just locked up for something that they didn't do. I was just talking to them, man. Y'all make it seem like Sight just like care the streets. Because of some jihad. I don't know, man. Smooth used to work for the peace of holies. When Smooth came home, Smooth used to work for the peace of holies, man. Like, lunch at homes. But, you know, I was out of pocket. I was sad asleep. I was out of pocket for saying anything about Eric Weaver or anything. It just, you know, I get in that mode. Then I get on the attack mode. But listen. The reason I, I, I was so frustrated and so angry is because... There are two young is supposed to be finishing this senior year in school in jail because they were afraid, man. Y'all go to Dunbar, right? And you telling me that you've never heard of cure the shit? Bro, like, we can talk out loud about this shit. Like, we, I can talk out loud about this shit. I don't even get fucked, bro. I had to shoot my gun in the air because you keep coming to my mother's house, bro. My mother live here, bro. Like, I got why? Like, stop, bro. Like, and you know I ain't know nothing, though. Y'all don't even know that. I got to shoot my gun in the air and say, Cray, stop coming to my house. <laughs> what? What? Bro, my mama living here, bro. The fuck you keep putting up to my motherfucking house? <laughs> uh, 
That's all I was mad about. I'm like, damn, bro. Then I look though. I'm not even mad. You pulling up? It's like, bro, you be pulling up with three thousand people on the camera. I'm like, no less than three thousand. My mother used three thousand strong on my mother. On GQ, nothing less than three thousand. All outside under the gazebo. No. That's the clown that's running around making it seem like he care about them kids getting shot in school. Anybody that knows, a bullet goes up and then it comes down. And when it goes up, unlike this stupid nigga saying if you shoot straight, it ricochets and it has the same amount of force that it shot out the gun with. A bullet goes up, gravity grabs hold of it. Physics, man. And pulls that bullet back down to the earth. You could drop a penny off the monument and kill somebody. But this is the person that, and within two minutes, within a few hours of each other, he's laughing and joking about shooting guns in the air. Mr. Contradiction, man. I'm telling you, man. Damn, man. Where you at? You want to you want, keep playing these motherfucking yeah. games? Where you at, nigga? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Give me that address. I, I want to see you. Man, fuck all that, man. Fuck all you playing. Listen, man. Fuck all that. Washington, D.C. Of course, the mayor's office is under investigation by the ATF for selling guns back to D.C. streets. I'm from Washington, D.C. Of course, I've seen too many of my friends die. And if anything was to happen, we're shooting. Man, this is how much of a man I am, man. Esco, Aunt Glizzy, Eon, who else? Uh, 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 any one of the media sites playing with me. Like, we can put the gloves on. We can work. We can bang. Fuck all this high. This this some PC shit, man. Where niggas safe behind the internet. You safe as a motherfucker behind the screen. But I'm saying, listen. Name the time of day. Name the place. It could be in the middle of an alley for all I give a fuck. I'm going to be there. Right? And that's when you're going to see. Right? How fast I put a team together. And I'm coming up in your hood. Asco. Aunt Glizzy. All that shit, man. I ain't ducking nothing. Them niggas ducking. Them niggas play games behind uh, uh, TV uh, screens and shit. I ain't on that. I be really trying to work. Like, I, my middle name, where I come from, we run, we do this. I'm from Washington, D.C. Of course, the mayor's office is under investigation by the ATF for selling guns back to D.C. streets. I'm from Washington, D.C. Of course, I've seen too many of my friends die. And if anything was to happen, we're shoot. Yup, recovery Sundays, man, going to fuck down each and every Sunday, man, from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., man. Day party slash brunch, man. Y'all can see hookah $60, bottles $250, uh, and it's bottles of mimosa for going for $30, man. Listen, purchase a meal, you get a $5. One more time, one more time for the Aunt Glizzy supporters. This is the school. This is the one way. This is the one way. Y'all see this? Aunt Glizzy said that car came up this street right here, going in that direction. Of them youngins just trying to make their way to school, right? The media is full of dirty tricks, y'all. Don't get caught up in the mix. That's why we need more of y'all on the grand jury that won't just let anything happen to these youngest, man. Like that nigga. Hey, listen. Hey, what's your name, homie? Hey, listen, bottles up, right? Hey, come here, nigga. <laughs> hey, boy, hey, come here, Hey, 
Hey, hey, come here, nigga. Go ahead, Chuck. Hey, nigga, hey, listen. Hey, what's your name, homie? Hey, right? Man, come here, nigga. Go ahead, Chuck. Hey, nigga, hey, listen. Hey, what's your name, homie? Hey, right? Man, come here, nigga. Go ahead, Chuck. Hey, nigga, hey, listen. Hey, what's your name, homie? Hey, right? Man, come here, nigga. Go ahead, Chuck. Hey, Glitchy Bob or something, right? Man, come here, nigga. Go ahead, Chuck. <laughs> hey, nigga, hey, listen. Hey, what's your name, homie? Ernest, hey, Glitchy Bob or something, right? Man, come here, nigga.